it's 36 past 5. I'm down here at Bonnet Bay. Well, yeah, I guess this is Bonnet Bay, the top of Bonnet Bay. Uh, Tudor, for those playing locally in Janali, I'm at the edge of Tudor Road in the bush in Bonnet Bay. I guess, I guess this is like a Bonnet Bay reserve. And I've been here before on my regular vlog. I'll put a little link to that up top. But I came down here specifically this afternoon to make my what do you call it a response video to Scooter Brad's video and I've been talking about doing this for a while and I needed to just get some I needed to just get some facts together and I needed to get some uh, ideas together on paper and in my head before I made this video so today um, I came down here earlier and I sat down and I went through his video and I responded to it in the best way that I could and that was to dissect everything and explain uh, not explain well yeah explain I had to explain what I view his content to be and what I view my content to be and why he's chosen to angle this his video the way he did towards me now what that's got to do with beautiful Bonnet Bay and this beautiful scene I don't have any idea except to say that I wanted to come somewhere fantastic and somewhere nice because hang on where am I I've gone all dark haven't I I wanted to I've just swapped sides of the light but that's all right I wanted to come somewhere beautiful to do something that I honestly didn't really want to do um, I wasn't this will all be in the video as well like not not this exact content but this the vibe that I'm giving off right now will be in my response video but I didn't want to have to do this video because I didn't want well to start off with what Scooter Brad did was completely wrong he basically created content for himself from my video he he twisted us he he a current affair a story out of nothing that's that's what he did he made there was nothing in what I did when we went to monster that was just simple asking people that were there what was going on like anyone like anybody else did the news reporters and anybody else that turned up asked what was going on scooter brad decided to make that into a scooter versus skater and a complete sledging of me and then he sent all his minions to my channel to harass me and i addressed that in my video which that's not what i'm on youtube for i don't i don't wish to make another video like this and i hope i don't have to ever again and why Scooter Brad would choose to del delve into that kind of territory on his channel when what he does is pretty decent content for scooter riders. He's, he's got a great thing going and why he would have to dig into it like it's a tabloid news, news report and current affair style, it's beyond me. Like, yeah. You, you'll see when, when my actual response video goes live, you'll see what I'm saying. It's like, I don't... I don't want to have to defend what I did because I didn't actually do anything. I just turned up to the skate park with a mate. We went for we were going to go for a ride. Hey, there was a fire. Hey, do you guys know what happened to the fire? No, you don't know. Okay, cool. No disrespect. I didn't know any of those dudes. It doesn't matter if I did. They're not like their status within the scooter community is irrelevant to the situation. They're just people standing out the front of what looked like a fire in a skate park. And that's it, dude. And um <laughs> Speaking of fire, what a fiery sunset this was. Did you see that? You will see this in my daily vlog. Oh, it's almost gone. In fact, it's pretty much over. 